Greetings programs and welcome to Arc Neo Reviews where today we are diving back into the whole Cyberverse thing but this time with much better figures. So we're actually looking at the first of the new deluxe class Cyberverse figures. This is the new Shockwave. And just to get this out of the way, yes, these figures do come with Build-A-Figure parts. I'm not going to bother looking at those or even mentioning them again until I actually have all eight Build-A-Figure parts. But for now, just looking at Shockwave. And this has got to be hands down the best rendition of the spider tank, you know, crab tank, whatever. This thing is so cool. It's so cohesive compared to all the other versions of it we've gotten. And I adore it. So, really quick for comparison's sake, here he is with the warrior class. And, yeah, as no contest. So much more detail, so much more going on here. Um, as well as much more articulation. So, a uh, foot can actually tilt f uh, forward if you need it to. It's got a rotation right there. Swivel. Ball joint right there, though uh, some of this stuff does get in the way, but no big deal. Um, double hinge for the back leg right there. A super deep knee joint there. And then actually a double rotation, a uh, double hinge at the foot. So not only do you get forward and back, but you actually get ankle tilt. And you might notice these little uh, posts sticking out. Yes, these guys actually use effects parts like the Siege figures. And even come with effects parts. So Shockwave comes with this little... Uh, two-piece little uh, blast effect and uh, these are like uh, directional so these things do technically only snap together one way they have little notches in them and stuff to keep them lined up and you can go ahead you know uh, put it on his gun put it on his other gun put it on any of the little posts on him like he's getting shot put just that one on him, you know, whatever you want to do. So, yeah, really, really neat. And, yes, uh, he does have a second gun, which I guess this is in the show. I still haven't had time to actually watch anything Cyberverse. Though I will say, I adore the design of this gun. This thing is incredible. So, transforming this guy is... A lot like most of the other versions of, you know, the spider tank we've had so far. But it definitely does some things to set itself apart. So, first thing you're going to want to do is pull up the gun here. And then, if you want, you can remove the hose right there. You will need to plug it right back into the same spot later. But, if you don't want him to have this, you know, the gun arm or whatever, you can just completely remove it. So, we'll do that for the time being. Go ahead and flip up these two little pieces right here onto what is, you know, becoming his back. Fold down uh, the chest piece and that will click into place really tight. Flip up his little uh, ear bits. Rotate his arms into position. You're going to want to spin the legs around at the waist there. And then bring down the little side skirts and straighten out the legs. Then you're going to want to fold down the, uh, the front foot, open up the forearm, pull out the hand, rotate up the foot, and then close the arm back. So, same thing, other side, down, up, out in, down, and at least kind of stage one, here we have 
Deluxe Class Cybertron Shockwave. Or Cyberverse Shockwave. And I I love this figure. This thing is so good. So, as you can see, great painting on the head and chest. Um, they're actually consistent with, you know, the Energon lines going through him. So they didn't, you know, just stop painting the same line halfway through the figure like they did on the other version. Um, I, I did kind of forget to mention, yeah, you just take this piece and fold it up. Clips on. Um, which also have to give props. They're still keeping in the sort of fake, you know, battery pack like the G1 had. So yeah, really great looking figure. Um, we will get to the gun in a second, but first off, posability, uh, his head is on a swivel. It's very tight, but it is, you know, turnable. Ball joint the shoulder, though, because of the way the shoulder is sculpted like most versions of this guy, um, you're not going to get a full range, but you will get in and out and rotation. Uh, 90 degrees at the elbow. He does have a bicep swivel. And believe it or not, he does actually have a wrist swivel as well. Which is really, really cool. Yes, the foot kind of sticks out a little bit and gets in the way of it. But it's not much and it's still so cool that it's there. So, legs can go out all the way, thanks to the side skirts moving up out of the way. Foot can go back all the way, forward, a little bit more than all the way. Really, really deep knee bend. And then just like the, uh, in the tank mode, he's got waist, uh, ankle, that's what they're called. Uh, ankle tilts, you know, all over the place, forward, back, left, and right, so. Yeah, this thing is insanely cool. So, as for the gun, if you want to do his classic, you know, left arm, or even right arm if you want, is the blaster. Go ahead, and there's a little peg right there. It's going to put that in his hand. Which can be a little tricky to line up doing it this way, but I... There we go. So, put that in his hand. Open this piece back up. Then you're going to slide this back in to position uh, right here. And there's, as you can see, there's a little itty bitty peg right there. Um, it's like impossible for me to show you on this clear soft plastic, but... It does go up in right there. Go ahead, close that back up, keeps it from pulling back out. And now you have your proper tube-armed gun shockwave. And the tube is a little bit stiff, so it will hinder posability some. But it still looks really, really awesome. And if you want, you can, you know, give him his gun, put it in his hand, uh, go insane and stack it on top of his gun arm. So he's just got a double blaster there. And then there is a uh, peg hole right there, so you can just put the gun on his back. And yeah. Absolutely absolutely incredible figure. I cannot recommend this guy enough. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.